right here on uh, Sunrise. We continue We're coming to you from uh, Irene, just outside Pretoria at uh, St. Judges Hotel. And as we did mention earlier on, of course, uh, we're joining the Department of Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs together with the Small Business Development this morning. And it's all about uh, this uh, a local economic development conference that's uh, taking place, kicked off yesterday. We're joined now by uh, the Minister of Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs, uh, Des Fan Oroy. And good morning to you, sir, and thanks for joining us this morning. Good morning and a very good morning for uh, your viewers at home and thanks for inviting us. Thank, thank you for joining us. Now the big question is uh, the Department of Cooperative Governance uh, and Traditional Affairs, their role in economic, local economic development. Uh, why this conference and what's, what's the main objective of this conference? The National Development Plan, uh, among other things, envisage that by 2030 we should be having uh, financially viable municipalities. Mm. And our own uh, assessment through our program that we call Back to Basic Program has established that most municipalities uh, are unable to be financially viable because they don't have a solid economic base. Mm. Now at the center of uh, a municipality having a, a solid economic base is the role of small business and uh, proper local economic development strategies. Now one of the things that we have uh, picked up is that uh, uh, local economic development strategies in municipalities are really uh, not appropriate to ensure that we realize this national development plan objective. Mm. Now, we have, we have worked together with uh, uh, the, the new ministry of small uh, business development under the leadership of Minister Lindy Wezulu mm. to look into local economic development strategies in municipalities. The purpose of this uh, conference is to uh, obviously assess those strategies but also take some lessons on some of the good practice, practices that came out of these strategies and their failures and prepare, of course, what we term a new local economic development agenda that will ensure that uh, we comply or maybe we realize this particular objective of the National Development Plan. Now, in terms of like uh, uh, the dialogue that's uh, taking uh, place within the, the conference, there's different stakeholders um, that are, are involved. How are you making sure that uh, a framework of some sort is going to, to come out of these conversations? The, the result of the matter is that already, I mean, in 2006, we developed uh, the local government national, uh, lo uh, national local economic development framework. So municipalities have been working within that framework. Mm. Now, unfortunately, is that uh, the agenda of uh, 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 local economic development in municipalities has, has, take, has been taking a backseat. In the main, I think, is because most municipalities are dependent on grants that are, are issued from the national uh, uh, fiscus. Mm. And we want to, t to turn that thing around because it's not going to work because only 9.2% of our national generated revenue is allocated to municipalities. The mm. constitution is very clear that municipalities should generate their own revenue so to ensure that they provide services to our people. Mm. So it's very clear that we'll have to turn that thing uh, that around and uh, the, the, the agenda of local economic development in municipalities should be elevated. And that's why in this conference there is a clear proposal coming out from participants that we need to have the six pillar in the five pillar uh, program, uh, which is our back to basic program, mm. which will only focus on local economic development issues. But quite uh, interestingly and encouraging is that the Presidential Coordinating Council has already agreed that uh, premiers, because this is a body where president meets with premiers, premiers must report on the local uh, economic development initiatives that are taking place in municipalities fully within the ambit of their provinces. Mm. So we, are, we, are, we think we are, we are on course to make sure that local economic development issues are properly prioritized within the mandate of uh, municipalities. In terms of like prioritizing that, the policies and, and legislation and strategies that will, will guide uh, this uh, local economic development uh, plan going forward, exactly what, what will it entail? Well, truly speaking, it will entail identification of collaboration areas because remember it's not only about municipalities doing these things on their own mm. it, it, it entails us as national provincial and local municipalities the three spheres working together mm. but also our partnership with the private sector but also identifying area based or municipality based uh, unique I mean, economic activities that can be supported by all these three, the three spheres of government. Mm. But also it will entail the legislation space 
uh, uh, to what extent our, our uh, legislation is, is our legislation space enabling mm. a local economic de development to prosper mm. we, we are dealing with those and of course we we want to remove the so-called red tapes as as we encourage business to invest in municipalities mm. building up to, to the conference the engagement of like uh, you know traditional communities, local communities, how involved have they been uh, to build up to, to this conference? A very critical uh, stake, uh, stakeholder, a uh, traditional leadership sector. Mm. Because remember, some of the land are under their custodianship. Mm. So it's important that uh, such a sector is also given the opportunity to participate in the process of shaping this new local economic development uh, agenda. Now, they have been participating. They, are part, they have been part of the planning processes. But also, remember, the my ministry is a ministry that is also accommodating uh, the, the, the traditional leadership sector. Mm. So they, they have been part of this process, and they will continue to be part of this process. And we are listening to very interesting stories of some of the development initiatives that are taking uh, e uh, place in their, uh, in their area, economic development initiatives mm. taking place in their area. So they are part of uh, this process, and definitely we uh, expect them to continue playing an important and a very crucial role in ensuring that the outcome of this uh, uh, conference is, uh, is, is properly implemented. Now, finally, there's uh, also talk of launching an Economic Development uh, Council of South Africa. It was launched yesterday. This okay. is a council, uh, among other things, this council is expected to professionalize the local economic development sector. Mm. Because if you go into uh, the municipalities, most of the people who are appointed to lead uh, 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 municipalities, local economic development uh, uh, strategies or plans mm. are not necessarily people who are conversant mm. or so-called LED professionals. Mm. Now, yesterday we launched it. Uh, we had a gala dinner mm -hmm. where we launched this council. And this council, of course, will be uh, 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 falling under the ambit of uh, Minister Lindwe Zulu's uh, ministry. And we think this is the council that will assist us to uh, professionalize this sector.